Hello and welcome to Talk of the Stage. Before we begin, I'm going to be brutally honest and say up front that I think the Netflix UK offering for musical theatre fans is pretty disappointing. You know it's a bad sign when the offering is so small, it simply doesn't have a section of its own and needs to be grouped as music and musicals. Nevertheless, in this video, I bring to you what I deem to be the top five shows for fans of musicals to watch on the streaming service and that are available right now. Be warned that Netflix has a habit of removing shows with no warning, and so what I recommend may not be available forever. I know this because Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat was a contender to feature on this list before I realised that it has unfortunately been taken away from us. So let's jump straight in. In at number five is Ben Platt, live from Radio City Musical. If you're a fan of modern contemporary musical theatre, you should know of Ben Platt and his heavenly riffs. But in case you don't, he's a mega talented star who catapulted to fame with the musical Dear Evan Hansen. He starred in the title role and won a Tony Award for his performance. He's since gone on to record his own album called Sing To Me Instead and has started to carve out a successful career for himself as a recording artist. The singer-songwriter toured his album visiting venues across the US and Netflix thankfully captured his performance in Radio City Music Hall. Ben's set noticeably doesn't include any musical theatre covers, but it's still really enjoyable. He's open about his upbringing as an awkward musical theatre kid, and he talks about his struggles with anxiety. Overall, he seems to have a lot of fun on stage with these slightly awkward yet lovable sidestep dance moves, and that's why this deserves a place on the list. Next at number four is Jesus Christ Superstar, filmed in 2000. In Jesus Christ Superstar, we follow Jesus in his final days before his crucifixion. The original Broadway recording of Jesus Christ Superstar is probably one of my favourite Andrew Lloyd Webber scores, and so I was pleased to see that this was added to Netflix. There have been other filmed versions of the show, including the concert at the O2 Arena with Tim Minchin, and the NBC live version with John Legend and Norm Lewis. How we love Norm Lewis. But as we don't have those, I'm happy to settle for this one, and the many glorious moments of theatrical howling that it serves. <laughs> So yes, this is definitely an interpretation of the show that I recommend checking out, even if you've seen the others. At number three, we have Dreamgirls. In Dreamgirls, we follow the journey of a female African-American singing group and their attempt to find fame in the music industry during the 60s and 70s. The film is an adaptation of the stage musical with music by composer Henry Krieger. The film includes stars such as Beyonce, Anna Kanani Rose, Jamie Foxx and Ernie Murphy, and of course the incomparable Jennifer Hudson. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to gush about Jennifer Hudson for just a little bit. So this film marked her film debut and she won the Academy Award for it. I remember being fairly young when this film came out, and at that young age I was outraged that she only won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. And I was like, who exactly did Jennifer Hudson support in this role? Regardless, Jennifer delivers a knockout performance as Effie, and this really made her mark not just as a talented singer, but also as a musical theatre performer. And she's since gone on to play other brilliant musical theatre roles, including Motormouth in Hairspray, Suge Avery in The Colour Purple, and Grizabella in Cats, but no one talks about cats, so we won't talk on that too much. I think her vocals are so strong in this film, and it's difficult to pick out a favourite. Of course, no one can deny the brilliance of And I'm Telling You, but I think a favourite of mine recently has been Love You I Do, which is the song that was added just for this film. At number two, we have Best Worst Thing That Ever Could Have Happened. This documentary was directed by Lonnie Price, and I found it so fascinating. We learn about the development of Sondheim's infamous flop, Merrily We Roll Along, which was closed on Broadway after 21 performances, losing $8 million. Despite its poor critical reception, I'm quite a fan of the score. The documentary becomes quite meta in the way that the unique premise of the show is that the story is revealed in reverse, and in this documentary, we learn about the lives of the original Broadway cast and we start to see their lives being revealed backwards too. There's lots of fascinating archival footage, including Stephen Sondheim and the late great Hal Prince. And what makes this even more interesting was that this was their last collaboration together. Overall, I think this is a truly special documentary, which affectionately captures how gruelling the musical theatre industry can be, yet how powerful and meaningful it can be in people's lives. 
Before we reveal number one, a special mention must go to Mamma Mia 1 and 2. It's such a guilty pleasure of mine, and I know it can be a bit like Marmite. And if I wanted this to be a respectable list, adding these might have been too controversial. Uh, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. So at number one, of course, is West Side Story. I've watched this multiple times and it never gets old. West Side Story was written for the stage in 1957 as a contemporary musical adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, but the conflict lies between two gangs in New York City rather than two rival families in Verona. The 1961 film is a firm musical theatre classic for its powerful story, brilliant score with music by Leonard Bernstein and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim, and a spellbinding choreography by Jerome Robbins. West Side Story is gold standard for movie musicals, and as we wait in anticipation for the new adaptation, it's good to be reminded of where the bar is set. No pressure, Steven Spielberg. So there you have it. Those are my top five Netflix recommendations for musical theatre fans, which unfortunately isn't a lot. If there are any that I've missed, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you're based in an exciting part of the world where the offering you have is different to the UK, please let me know what I'm missing out on and let's see if you can succeed in making me jealous. And yeah, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I'm so pleased by the love that this channel has received and in terms of views, I've just been blown away and I didn't expect to get 29 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who's sort of joined this corner of the internet. We're really pleased to have you. If you're new here, hello and welcome to Talk of the Stage. This corner of the internet is dedicated to celebrating and promoting all things theatre. So if you'd like to join me and support my small theatre loving channel, it'd be great if you could give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Until next time!